Right, so in this tutorial, as the title does say, we're going to be making the Transformers logo. So, first of all, create a new document. Uh, 140 for the width of the pixels and 300 for the height. Resolution will be sent to color mode RGB and background white. So I'm just going to name that Transformers logo. And then OK. First thing we want to do is fill this white with black. So the foreground white and the background black. Press Control and Backspace. Fill that with black. And then click on your text tool. And the text we're going to be using is this S uh, Trans Robotics. It's just there. Um, if you don't have that, I'll put a link in the description so you can download that. Uh, the size will be 70 in there. This option will be crisp. So in the sort of in the middle, just type in transformers on the pixel. And then just move that. Click on this background layer. Press Ctrl and A. Then click on back on this uh, text layer you've just done. Click on the move tool up here in the top left. Click on this middle option. Which aligns it uh, horizontally or vertically, whatever, whichever one, and this one. So now it's exactly in the middle. And press Ctrl and T. Please select that. And um, you're going to want to make uh, T and the F of this a bit longer. In uh, the Transformers logo, which is on the T and the F, uh, extend a bit longer than all the other letters. So I'll do this. Right click on it. I can rasterize pipe. And then just up there I'm gonna zoom in to about two hundred percent so I can see it a bit more clearly. And click on this rectangular marquee tool just there. If it's not, then just hold it down, click on rectangular. Then we want to highlight this T first, just the bottom of it. Now you've got to be pretty precise for this. So there, and then press control and T. And just drag it down to about there. Then press Enter and Control and P to deselect it. And now you want to do the same with the F. So still with the rectangular marquee tool selected. I like the bottom bit of an F. Control and T again. And then drag it down. Got a bit about there. Press Enter again and Control and P. And you can put your zoom back 100% more. So there you go, you're tuning your F extended more than your letters. Uh, now we're going to make a blending option for this. So right click on all blending options. Um, I've got this style saved again as usual. And it's this one I think. Yeah, it's just a simple beveling and box. So we're going to tick the beveling and box. Uh, as if have the style is in the bevel and the technique is chill out. Uh, Def will be 100% and directions are. Size will be 1. Uh, all this is default except in the opacity will be 100 and the opacity for this will be 100. Then uh, that's OK. Uh, you want to make duplicate of this. So with this one selected, press Ctrl and J, create the copy. And with this move tool selected up there, put the up arrow ones and the right arrow ones as well. Then Control and J again. Up arrow again. Right arrow again. Control and J. Up and right again. And one last time. Sorry. And then Control and J again. Uh, up and right. So once you've done that, you want to merge these bottom four layers all together. So click on your bottom one. While you're holding Control, click on the other four. Got all these four selectors, you can let go of control now. Right click and click on merge layers. Uh, right click again just to make sure the blending options are still on it. No, they're not. Okay. You have to type in your blending options again. So once all of them are merged, do these settings all over again. Uh, pause is if you want because I'm just going to click OK now. So once you're ready to start again, just Play. So okay. Um, get rid 
use a font and then call this by double clicking on the right in just call it Transformers 3D and we're going to call this Transformers Top the top layer of all the others Double click on this somewhere where there's no writing to get the planning options up. Now I just right click and go on planning options. Um, but actually, first of all, you've got to clear, so I right click and go on clear the layer styles. And uh, now right click and go on planning options. And the style for this one, which I've got saved again, this one, so you want an inner glow. The inner glow will be uh, a blend mode of screen, the opacity will be 32% and the colour just a normal white, so all the apps. Technique is softer, source will be edge, choke is zero and the size is 5 and the quality will be there and default settings. For the bevel and emboss this time, it will be inner bevel, smooth, 650%, uh, direction up, size and soften will be no pixels. Um, all of this will be default settings again. And a colour overlay. Um, the blend mode is colour dodge, I paste it at 55% and the colour. Colour will be 31464. So it's like a sort of blacky blue sort of colour. And you want a gradient overlay as well. So the blend mode is overlay, I paste it at 100%. And this is a gradient. You want a uh, jet black. So it's all the O's, so the first one, and then the second one. This will be 90999D, so it's a sort of whitish grey colour. Uh, style will be linear, align it with the layer, and go 90 and scale 100%. And then you want a pattern overlay as well. Plan mode normal, paste it 100%. And to make this pattern, click on the drop down arrow on this one as well. Click on texture filter, I think it will be. Uh, when this part comes up, that's okay. Make this one top right, click on that one. So I'll let you lay a style for that one then. Get rid of this effectively. Um, as you can see, the reflection of this is looking a bit too light, so to make it a bit more darker, click on your Transformers 3D layer, then press Ctrl and L, and change this value to what I was going to. And then OK once you've done that. So it's uh, dark now, and uh, we can make a reflection of this as well. So, with this selected, press control and then select this one as well. Right click, click on merge layers. No, you don't want to click on merge layers. So, if you did that, just press control on the to step backwards. So, I'll select these two again, press the control, and duplicate them. Uh, this will come up to press OK, and it will select these two duplicates you just done there. Uh, right click. And emerge these and then double click on the right again and just type in the reflection press enter and then with the reflection sorry I put it on with the reflection uh, layer selected go to edit transform and click vertical and click on your move tool and while holding shift move it down uh, shift just keeps it in line with uh, the other two layers so uh, you can move it up with the arrow key as well, I'll have it about there. And then um, to create a layer mask with this as well, so I'll do that. Just click on this square with a circle in it. So you've got a layer mask there. Select your gradient tool. And the gradient you want to use is jet black again, all the O's. And this light is grey again. So 90999D. Okay. And start from the top of your air. While holding shift to make a straight line, just go all the way to the bottom of the air. And you've got reflection there. And to make the whole of this, I paste it a bit lighter. Highlight that, just like that. And there you go. There is your Transformers logo. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it very much.